Hello, welcome to News in Brief from Prep About Television. My name is Omo Ikairi. First, the headlines. Federal government unveils the new curriculum for Nigeria universities. Stakeholders decry poor condition of procurement agencies in Nigeria. World Bank, UNICEF, IOM Italian government, lots of Basaki's development programs. Adon Award gets new executive and two teenagers in illegal sale of organs. Police comments investigation. Now the details. The federal government have announced a new curriculum for university education in the country. It says the curriculum will reflect the 21st century reality. Favor Percy Edibo completes the story. The vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, disclosed this in Abuja during the unveiling of the new curriculum. Osibanjo said the development was part of efforts get towards making university education more responsive to the pressing needs of the society. Professor Osibanjo, who was represented at the unveiling by the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, explained that the introduction of the core curriculum and minimum standard to university education will address local issues, meet international standards, and uplift scholarship in Nigerian universities. The vice president commended NUC for unveiling such disciplines as agriculture and the emergence of three courses, Allied Health Sciences, Architecture, Communication, and Media Studies. Also speaking at the event, Professor Abubakar Rashid, the Executive Secretary of the National University Commission, said the commission has commenced the journey to restructure the benchmark for minimum academic standards, BIMAS, of 2018. He noted that it has introduced in its place the core curriculum and minimum academic standard CMAS, which he said is a product of sustained stakeholders' interactions over two years. Favor of Pesce Idubo, paper about television. Stakeholders have decried the poor working conditions of procurement agencies across the country. Favor of Pesce Idubo reports that this formed the crux of discussion at a round table on anti-corruption procurements community of practice held in Abuja recently. Her reports. The event, organized by Accountability Lab Nigeria in partnership with UNDP, was to empower stakeholders in developing and using data-driven tools for fighting corruption in public service procurement and contracting. Speaking on the challenges faced by procurement agencies, the program officer Andy Dong Okun said that the agencies lack working capacities being understaffed. Andy Dong also identified lack of adequate funding to be a major challenge faced by procurement agencies. In his view, Said Tafida from Open Government Partnership Leaders Network said that lack of procurement manuals and other frameworks are major setbacks for procurement agencies. He also noted that the overlap of responsibilities between the procurement governing board and the state tender boards are barriers to strengthened public procurement agency. The stakeholders meeting had in attendance state bureaus of public procurement from Edo, Ekiti, and Plato states, including other consultants, journalists, and techpreneurs. The forum called on government at all levels to be deliberate in their actions towards enhancing the capacity of procurement agencies across the nation. Favor Percy Idubo reporting. The World Bank, the United Nations International Children's Fund, UNICEF, an international organization for migration, IOM, among others, have commended Governor Golden Obaseki for his government impactful reforms. The reports. The Director of Global Education World Bank, Jamie Savidre, Chief Education Officer Nigeria, UNICEF, Sadna Pandey, and the Chief of Mission IOM, Lawrence Dubuque, while speaking in Benin City during a dinner organized by the state government, held Obaseki for his pragmatic approach 
to governors. The World Bank representative, Jimmy, said that Edo, under the leadership of Obaseke, is among the 10 sub-nationals in the world with the political will to transform education. He noted that Edo state government has made giant strikes in the use of technology, having effectively deployed technology to ensure that teachers, principals, and other educational players do their jobs as best as they could, while commending the Edo state government for the success recorded in education and other sectors. The UNICEF representative Pandey assured that the global education body will continue to partner and ensure technical support to take Edo best to the next level. Pandey said, we are in 190 countries across the world and I must say that we are really looking forward to taking Edo best program to not only other states in Nigeria, but to other countries across the world. On his part, the Italian ambassador to Nigeria commended the state government for the launch of a second phase of managing migration through developmental projects. He assured that his government will partner with Edo states on job creation as well as investment on training opportunities, among others. In his response, Obaseke thanked the partners for their collaboration and support, reassuring that his administration will sustain efforts to ensure sustainable growth and development in the states. Favor Percy Dubo, Pape About Television. The Nigeria Association of Women Journalists, NAWUD, Edo State Chapter, has held its Trainer Delegate Conference during which a new executive to pilot the affairs of the association for three years were inaugurated. Those, re those retained for the second term in office were Ehima Deswa, Chairperson, Percy Idibo Favor, Vice Chairperson, Uanchuku Antonia, Financial Secretary. The reports. Solemnly swear and affirm that I will be faithful and be true allegiance to the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists, the Chapter. That I will be faithful and be true allegiance to the Nigeria Association of Women Journalists. The inauguration of the new executive, which took place at the NED Press Center, Edo State, had in attendance the national officers of the association and the state executive of its parent body, NUJ. Speaking during the inauguration, Carmen Bimbo Oyetunde, national trustee of the NUJ, tasked the women journalists to brace up for more professional growth and development. She noted that NUJ at the national level is working towards reviewing the constitution of the union to ensure an improved union. Other relevant bodies made positive remarks during the inauguration. NUJ in the state and Nawal in the state they are fighting. I pray that there will never be a fight between NUJ and Nawal in the state. I want to use my hands and the entire executive of the union to work with you. Don't forget, whatever activities you are doing, please send to the union so we can look at it. Because you are, you, you are not going to work in isolation. Knowledge is ruled by passion. Try as much as possible to gather everybody together as a mother and make those associations move forward. Adesua has made us enjoy stability. Knowledge hasn't been in the news for negative reasons. The chairperson Adeswa Ehimwa reiterated the executive member's commitment in serving the association better as she gave a scorecard for the last administration. I had a peaceful and successful administration during my first tenure. This second tenure will be more prosperous and fruitful for our great association. Other executive members who came in through by election were Oyemese Ode, Secretary, Esiogene Akbono, Assistant Secretary, Patience Osarogiwa, Treasurer, Habiba Sam Ibrahim, Auditor, while Elizabeth Omoko came in as S official. Omo Kayere, Paper about Television. And finally, from Lagos State comes this report that police in Lagos State have commenced investigation to unravel the reasons why two teenagers residing at Iyanakpaja area sold their organs to a medical doctor in Abelkuta, Ogu State for 200,000 naira without the consent of their parents. Favor President Bo reports that the teenagers allegedly connived with an adult member of a church and went to a medical doctor at Reward Specialist Hospital at Belkota, where their organs were sold for 100,000 naira each. The reports.
The bubble reportedly burst in September 12, 2022, when one of the teenagers started vomiting and was taken to a hospital by her father, who thought she was having typhoid or malaria fever. On getting to the hospital, the doctors requested for a medical examination, which revealed that her private parts were damaged. Reports have it that the sick girl became unconscious after her health condition were blown open. She, however, regained consciousness after some time and disclosed to the father that a female member of their church trafficked her and another to Ogun State, where their organs were allegedly sold to a medical doctor for a hundred thousand naira each. Favor Percy Idibo reporting. And that report concludes today's edition of the news from Pep about television. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. My name is Omo Ikayore. Compliments of the season. Bye for now.